today's video, we're going to talk about the role of the arms in the golf swing, which I feel like there's a lot of misconception um, built around, especially in, in our typical everyday golfer. Um, a lot of people, when they say they're not hitting it well, they say, oh, I'm all arms. And I'm going to make the argument that actually you're not enough arms or you don't really understand the role of how the arms swing. The two, the two most, the two most um, common errors I see regarding the arms is either A, I'm using the chest muscles to try to force the arms out in front of the golf swing. And so that, that usually results in more of a slicing type of a pattern. And then the other really common one is in an effort to not use, not use your arms, the player tries to throw their body out and then their arms get way behind and then they have to use their hands to try to, try to catch the club up. In either case, you're really not using your arms. It's the lack of being able to actually swing your arms. Now, what actually happens in a golf swing is you transfer energy from your pelvis to your thorax to your arms to the club in a very specific order. And each piece needs to speed up and then sequentially slow down to transfer energy to the next piece. And so an exercise I want you to do that, that gives you a really simple understanding of how to, how to feel energy transfer through your body is just to stand up, stand up nice and tall like so and let your arms just hang like ropes. And then just gently start to twist your body back and forth. And you'll notice every time you speed up and change directions, your arms will lag. And then immediately as your lower body kind of, or your body slows down, your arms start to swing off, your, swing, swing off and speed up. Okay? And so that is the L, that's how our body transfers energy to our arms. So if we're not doing that, then we're not learning how to swing our arms. Now, with a golf swing, it works with the hands working together, the arms working together in front of the body, okay? So a player that actually is using their arms, or we say all arms, is actually more using their chest muscles to try to move and then their body has to re retreat out of their way to, to accommodate the strike. And then the player that's using their lower body too much is actually not making any connection that transfers energy. And so the exercise I want to have you all do that copies the golf swing or emulates the arm swing is to learn how to get a little more activity in your body so you can feel your arms get going. Okay? So, so here's, the, here's the movement. We're going to go back about oh, three quarters where the arms are roughly parallel. And then what I want you to do is I want you to feel like you got a little push in the ground and you feel strong in your core. If there's no tension in your body, you won't transmit energy. Okay? So that's, that's what happens with the hip slider or the hip thrower is that I can move my lower body like this without moving my arms. So I got to learn how to kind of connect these muscles around the hips and in the core and then up into the, up into the thorax area so I can transmit energy. So what I want to see you actually do is create a little quick pulse where you feel like you push the ground but you can feel yourself, uh, you can feel yourself rotate and you can kind of get that sensation of your, you'll feel it in your lead arm, if it kind of lags and then it jumps ahead of you. So it's almost like your arm out races you. Now, everybody would freak out. I'll say, you know, I want to throw your arms in front of your body. But if you watch as I'm doing this, my lower body actually does keep going. But as soon as it slows down, it propels my arms forward like so. Okay. And so that's how that's how that's going to work in the golf swing. So in review here, what I want you to do is I want you to, once you get the golf club up here, is the same thing. Can I make practice swings where I feel like I make a pulse into the ground and get my arms to go fast as opposed to trying to throw my body or use my shoulders to move the golf club? And if you can start to distinguish the difference between those movements, then you've got a much better insight on how you actually create force and more speed in your golf swing, and that'll really start to get that golf club to swing the way you want it to. All right, I hope you all really enjoyed that lesson on how to use the arms. Please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all next time.